Mike Roberts, Jeffrey Anderson, and John Gaffney, our officiating crew tonight. The Seminoles in the turquoise, and off we go. Here's Balsha Kopravica, the sophomore seven foot one center. Improved on that offensive end. I think the game has slowed down for him. There's a three for Darren Green Jr. of their own. They've had a couple of games already this year postponed. They've got a win over Auburn to start the season and then a blowout loss at the hands of Michigan. And there's Isaiah Adams, freshman from Jacksonville. Gray couldn't get it to go at the rim for the Knowles. CJ Walker down the lane. To the first TV timeout. Scotty Barnes, not nice. known for his outside shooting, but he sticks that. Really an unselfish team, you know, quintessential, pass up a good shot to get a great shot, and that's what that possession was about. Barnes wanted another. Rebound to Adams. Man. Another three for Darren Green and a fast start for the Knights. Out of the timeout, Florida State down by five, trying to get back in a rhythm, and that helps from beyond the arc. Malik Osborne saved it. Raekwon Gray, they're giving it to him, and he hits it. They're going to be pretty efficient. In the half court, especially with a lot of new faces, as you can see, it's, it's a struggle. As it was there, leading to a Raekwon Gray bucket. Wyatt Wilkes, known for his shooting, gave it up. And Gray's got another. Saves it on the baseline and then turns it over. Evans pushes. Evans finishes. Overs are killing UCF right now because they're leading the points on the other end for Florida State. Much needed, too, from Isaiah Adams, the freshman. Nice floater from Sadar Calhoun, the junior college transfer. He's one of the best scorers at the junior college level the last two years. Really highly recruited out of those junior college ranks. A big pickup for Leonard Hamilton. Pieces to come along deeper down the rotation. Scotty Barnes right down the lane, and that's where you said he's at his best, Chris, finishing. Perry trying to orchestrate for the Knights. Got it out of a swarm of Seminoles. Nice step through by C.J. Walker. Mahan throwing the lob for Adams, who made a nice catch underneath in traffic. You know, they were down at the half, but in the second half, I thought they were outstanding and, and took stuff away from Kentucky and made life hard on them. Adi Dawkins and his bench wanted a walk from Osborne. Wyatt Wilkes. He's got that high arc on his jumper. It's two weeks since the last game. A couple postponements and a long layoff for a team who was just ready to play someone else. As Walker scores, he's got eight. MJ Walker. Wow. Two rimmed out for Wilkes. And how about the relentlessness on the offensive glass these last few possessions? Yeah, they were 40% from beyond the arc coming into tonight as a team and looking pretty good in that regard. Polite makes us look smart. He cans one from the corner. Shot fake. Beautifully Beautiful. done by Derek Green. Mahan at the controls. He had a half dozen in the first half. One time yeah. Texas A&M Aggie from deep. Here's Scotty Barnes off the bounce, but not off the window. Here's another one of those threes. Aggressive and Green connects. Shot clock winding down on Gray. Mayhem. 
Durant straight on. Offensive rebound, Adams. Green hoists and hits. 34 of the 47 points for the Knights have come from Green and from Adams. Off the turnover, this is Mahan laying it in, and the lead's up to three. MJ Walker. Mm. And as much as we talked to Johnny Dawkins today about the offensive aggressiveness as Mahan sticks a jumper. Again, if you're just seeing the score, maybe just tuning into this one, that is Isaiah Adams. We're talking about 17 and 7 in his first collegiate start. And how about Mahan? Isaiah Adams in attack mode once again. How about the freshman? Perry has Osborne on him. Perry blew a tire. Shot clock winding down. Perry got caught in the air. Mahan tries to bail him out with a runner. Feels they have on the road in Tallahassee against the number 15 Seminoles. They are in attack mode and a great response out of the timeout there by Anthony Polite. Right, so yeah, even at the 9.30 mark, that is maybe not a must-have, but crucial for Polite and the Knolls. Mobley on a kick for Green. Man, he is cooking. Polite with a lob underneath. And the bucket there for Quincy Ballard. Mahan's been feeling good as well in the second half with the left hand. Blocking, which we're accustomed to normally with Florida State. Walker on a scoop. Barnes with that long reach. He's got a wingspan of up seven feet trying to hound Perry. Perry on the drive with two. Barnes skips it. Gray pulls up. Nice runner. Walker. Straight on three. That's it. This would be number eight as far as wins over ranked teams go for the Knights. Shot clock is winding down on Dre Fuller. On the scoop gets the roll. has been so big in this one he scores it plus the foul the Knolls in need of points taken away by Darius Perry polite trying to chase him down and Perry lays it in the lead is 10 MJ Walker no tipped around to polite back down to eight and we'll get a timeout MJ Walker down the lane, had it blocked by CJ Walker again. The hit ahead. Barnes quickly down the lane. Hello. Like it puts him down 11. My goodness. I mean, from the ACC stamp, he took off. Florida State has missed 10 free throws. And a chance at three for six Houston in 2019. And tonight, time for the third highest ranked opponent that the Knights have knocked off in program history.